y'all it's your girl nia and i'm back with another video if you want to see how i got this look continue watching so this is my girl she sent me a picture and she was like hey girl can you do this of course i can lay me a wig down but i don't know about the color so i said yeah girl of course i can do that because i wanted to try it anyway and i love when she gives me challenges i love when i do her hair y'all so before she got to my house um she had just took off that wig that morning and she still had glue on her lace so i was like you know what girl we're gonna have to fix this so while i'm braiding down your hair can you go ahead and wipe the glue off the lace and so you right here you can see me giving it to her and of course you know she's start with my girl she gets a little distracted so uh this her look at her supposed to be taking that glue off that lace you ain't supposed to be twerking in my camera. <laughs> I love it. But um, right now, I'm still continuing to braid her hair. So right now, I am laying her cap down. And I use the Eben Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray to um, in the black can uh, to hold her lace. Well, not her lace. Girl, what you thinking? I'm skipping ahead, holding that wig cap down. Yeah. After I got done laying down her cap, I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned her wig. And right now I am just blow drying it. So right now I am just parting the hair. I went ahead and split um, the hair down the middle because she is going to wear a middle part and what I'm doing is parting basically maybe an inch and a half to two inches away from the middle part um, because that top section will be black and I am dyeing the side part I guess you can say the side of her head red it's going to be a skunk stripe what you see me doing there, taking that adhesive spray and spraying the side that will still be black, I'm doing that so that I am not getting any um, dye on that part of her hair because we don't want to bleach or dye that black part. We want to keep it black, so we're just going to spray it with some adhesive spray so we know it will not change color. So this skunk stripe idea came from Love Reese on YouTube. Um, my girl actually sent me the picture from her video and she was like, this is how I wanted it. And I was like, okay. So I went ahead and watched her video and seen how she did it. And so it definitely gave me more confidence on how I wanted to dye that um, side part of her head red. Um, but yeah, that is where this look it was inspired from. What I'm doing here is parting the hair down the side and I'm just separating where I want that red hair to be at from the black and my width is maybe about two to two and a half inches wide. So I am about to bleach her hair and I am just getting my part ready so I can go ahead and apply that bleach to her hair. Okay, so here you can see me using that foil um, and applying the bleach to her hair. And the foil actually speeds up the process um, as well as keeps the hair separated from um, the hair you don't want dyed. What I'm using is the BW2 bleaching powder in the 40 volume developer to bleach her hair. So y'all don't get on me. I know I was not wearing gloves. I feel like the gloves get in my way when I'm trying to bleach the hair, but y'all will see me put them babies on later on when you see me bleach because my hands started burning and you know if you ever bleached hair, 
what your hands be feeling like if you get that bleach on your hands so yeah i went ahead and put them gloves on but yeah i know y'all do not have gloves on right now y'all are keeping a lookout on how much bleach you're actually applying in that foil because you will actually see me struggle trying to fold that foil up um, just because how much uh, bleach I have applied in that foil so you don't have to apply that much it's gonna bleach anyway um, but just yeah watch out for that So I gave up on the foils and y'all see me trying to rush through this hair because this is where my hands and my fingers started burning and I was like, you know what, get that foil. We finna just go ahead and speed up the process and get this done. applying the bleach I let her sit for uh, like an hour before I went ahead and washed her and started blow drying her and the color lifted very well because y'all the last time I dyed the wig well bleached the wig the color didn't turn out too well but I am happy how this came out So what you guys see me doing right here is just taking some black beijing hair dye and fixing the parts where i over bleached at because i forgot to tell you guys i did bleach her knots as well and i did over bleach some parts so i am just correcting where i over bleached So now that we have our parts separated, I'm taking the Kiss Temptation semi-permanent hair dye in the color Crimson um, and applying it to the parts where her skunk stripes will be, giving it that real blood red. And y'all, please be careful when applying this red color 
where you're doing it at because you do not want to get this dye anywhere on your carpet, on your walls, nothing like that. Luckily, I did not get it anywhere but the mannequin head and on the towel that was under the stand. But yeah, make sure everything's covered and you're doing it in a place where you're not worried about getting red dye anywhere. just look at that color i love it why she was like it's giving halloween and you know what i said tis the season trick or treat and it's giving yes you gotta trust the process As you can see, I am applying some powder to her head, and I went a little heavy on that powder. You see her? She was like, Lord Jesus, excuse me for that. Don't use that much powder because y'all, y'all see it flying everywhere. But it did the job, and I'm about to install her wig now using the even um, lace glue. And you guys want to make sure that you are spreading that glue out evenly uh, because if you don't, sometimes the glue won't dry properly and it takes forever to dry because you have glue just clumped up in one space. I have done that before. Trial and error. Just trial and error, y'all. Just trial and error. Want to make sure that that glue is completely clear and tacky enough so you can lay down that wig properly and that is what I'm doing right now you'll see me going back and forth uh, with this rat tail comb just to make sure that um, all the little pieces that need to be glued down is glued down and it's usually sometimes I would just apply that glue to the end of my rat tail comb and uh, smear it across where that lace is still sticking up y'all see her looking y'all I promise y'all she probably did that the whole entire video as well as watching me from her snapchat camera she is one of those clients that want to see what you're doing mostly the majority of the time that you're doing their hair which I don't mind she's just admiring the work taking that comb and just pressing that glue down with the comb and just uh, making sure that that glue is sticking to the lace and not sticking to the hairs and that's usually why I'm taking that rat tail comb just to make sure ain't nothing sticking but the lace on that skin okay
So here you see me plucking her wig. Her wig already came pre-plucked. It looked pretty good, but I'm just still going back in there um, and plucking in places that I feel like they still need to be plucked just to make the wig look more natural. And the best tweezers to use when you are plucking a wig is tweezers that are um, angled, that have a sharp point to them so you can get that precision in your plucking. guys I had to pluck her head like that just because I'm left-handed so I was like I can't pluck it on the other side so I just said here link your head this way so I can do it like that and now I am putting that band on her head so we can melt that lace honey and I lost a few clips y'all so y'all are seeing me start the video in the middle of me curling her hair her lace even more with the hot comb and kind of giving that a uh, part a little bit more volume and that's how I kind of just give that front part just a little bit more volume as well as melting the lace with that hot comb. Now it's time to swoop those baby hairs with the Nairobi um, foam lotion just to make sure that sets in place. And right here, I'm just demonstrating to her how to get that volume in that front part of her hair with the hot comb. This kid is fuck. Wow. This is the finished look. I hope you guys love watching my video as much as I love doing it for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am bringing back more videos. Y'all stay tuned. Uh -huh.